Yes, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast. And of course, after I said yesterday, it doesn't look like we're any closer to actually getting a manager in place. Well, today all the news is broken that it looks like we are very close to getting a new man in place. And that man is Scott Parker. So according to several reports, Scott Parker is now the club's preferred candidate and we are hoping to get the deal finalised pretty quickly with Scott. There's even been some pictures of him flying home from what is reportedly a family holiday and then these pictures came out about him flying home from this family holiday just minutes after the reports came out about him being the club's number one candidate. So this actually started from Alan Nixon and um, I always say take Alan Nixon with a pinch of salt, but it's backed up quite a lot this time. So Alan Nixon originally reported it. He The term that he used was Burnley are closing in on Parker. And as Nixon normally does, he then uses that to link it to his Patreon where he puts the article on there. Uh, and his article says, Burnley wants Scott Parker to be their new boss and hope to finalise terms quickly. The relegated Clarets have had the former Fulham and Bournemouth manager on their list since the day Vincent Company left for Bayern Munich. Now owner Alan Pace has gone through the interview process and insiders reveal Parker has ticked the boxes with promotion on his CV and the right name and image for the American. Parker has been out of work for some time, but his ability to take close to promotion after dropping to the championship has been a massive factor. Burnley will have to give Parker sorry, an attractive offer and a big bonus if he can do it again. But signs are good that they can agree. Obviously, that bit's just a little bit cut off there, so I couldn't really read it. But um, yeah, so like I said, it was originally reported by Alan Nixon. And of course, everybody always scoffs at that. And they say, oh, Nixon tax, Nixon tax. But then not long after that, it was confirmed by Andy Jones from The Athletic. He's obviously the local Burnley reporter at The, uh, at the Athletic, for those that don't know. Had him on the podcast a few times, really nice lad. Um, and that's, for me, confirmation. If Andy then says, yeah, the stuff that you've seen is true, then in my eyes it's true. Um, but he, he tweeted, Burnley are in advanced talks with Scott Parker to become their new manager. Parker has impressive promotion record from the Championship with Fulham and Bournemouth. And then his article goes on to say, Burnley in advanced talks to appoint Scott Parker as manager. Um, a, the Athletic reported in June that Parker was on an initial shortlist to replace Vincent Company at Turf Moor alongside Frank Lampard and Liam Rossini. A number of other candidates, including Ruud van Nistelrooy and current acting head coach Craig Bellamy, have also held talks, but Parker has now emerged as the club's preferred candidate. And then not long after that, it was picked up by Sky Sports News and they did a video on it. Obviously, I can't show you the video due to copyright issues on here, but they were just basically backing up the stuff that um, Alan and Andy had said. So all three of the of the different sources <clears throat> all saying the same thing and it's all backing up with some of the stuff that we've heard over the last few weeks. Like the, We've been hearing stuff like it's down to Lampard, um, sorry, not Lampard, Bellamy or Parker, um, and then it's now just emerging that it seems like Parker is the favourite. Look, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I do see it as a slightly underwhelming appointment, but it, that's not just on Parker. Pretty much every name we've been linked with, I've felt underwhelming. I, I know I said quite openly and often that I did want Rude, but yet, yet when you look at Parker, he's got more experience. I don't know what it is about Rude. I just felt that he would come in in a similar vein to what company did and play in a certain style and, and have a certain pull and a certain... Aura, I think's the the word that the kids use these days. Um, Scott's look is 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 not my preferred choice, and I do see it as slightly underwhelming. However, he has got two clubs out of this division before. Admittedly, he should have got them two clubs out of this division. Like they both had very good squads, so anything other than promotion would have been a failure. But my issue with him is when he gets up, he doesn't do very well. Like Vincent Company last year, but at least Vincent Company, as much as we all. Now look at him in, in different kind of eyes, but at least he tried to keep the togetherness and tried to keep sort of like, you know, he, he still towed the party line and he still said all the right things. Whereas I feel like when, when stuff start, starts going wrong for Scott Parker, he starts throwing players under the bus, he starts throwing the board under the bus. 
So it'd be interesting. And then he did very poorly at Club Bruges. He went to Belgium. That was his most recent job, I think, off the top of my head. He's not been in work since then um, and didn't do very well there at all. So a good record in the championship, which is promising with clubs that are in our position, like recently relegated from the Premier League with a decent squad, because even though a lot of the players are rumoured to be leaving, a lot of them haven't yet. So we still do have a decent squad. But um, yeah, it, it's it's looking like it's going to be Scott Parker. It's looking like it's going to be Scott Parker. So what we need to do now is when it's announced, we need to back him. Elsewhere, we finally have a name for the infamous Brazilian left back that everybody's been going on about, including myself on these shows. I've been saying for a while there are reports and, and rumours and mainly hearsay that there is a, a Brazilian left back coming in. And of course, Charlie was announced to be leaving yesterday officially with his move to Southampton. When I say yesterday, I of course mean on Monday. Um, but now we finally have a name for this Brazilian left back and it is Lucas Pires. Again, I apologise if I have got that wrong because, like I said, he is Brazilian, so it may not be pronounced in, in, in the way that it's written for us. Um, but this was reported by transfer Don Fabrizio Romano. His official words were uh, exclusive. Burnley agreed deal, so we've agreed it, not just looking to get it done, agreed it. Burnley agreed deal to sign Brazilian defender Lucas Perez from Santos after loan spell at Cadiz. Burnley, play, uh, Burnley to pay 2.5 million euros plus a sell-on clause when we eventually come to sell him. Understand Perez has already completed his medical tests at Burnley today. Here we go. So yeah, that one's looking like it. It is done and dusted. We're just waiting on the official announcement. So we finally have a name. There was a lot of guesses going around about who this Brazilian left back was. I didn't really partake too much in that. I, I was aware of or aware of the hearsay about a Brazilian left back, but never at any point would I have guessed it would be this man. And that's why I didn't bother because. I'm never going to get it. So all these people that were that were guessing it, nobody guessed this one right. Um, the club have managed to keep this one relatively quiet, other than the fact that we all knew a Brazilian left-back was coming in. So I guess not that quiet, but at least the name was kept under wraps. But yeah, Fabrizio Romano has tweeted it today that the deal has been agreed, which again backs up all the stuff from all the hearsay and the rumours that we've been hearing for the last couple of weeks. And he's even had his medical today. And again, that does back up something I heard yesterday that the medical, um, when I say today, by the way, I'm recording this on Tuesday night. So when I say today, I mean Tuesday. So I, I need to start doing that a bit better. That can get a bit confusing, admittedly. But he had his medical at Burnley on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, it's looking like that one's done. Hopefully the, the medical tests have all gone fine. I, I would presume the Avi Fabrizio's tweeted that it's um, all been agreed and uh, and we can look forward to seeing uh, another transfer video announcement on this one because it's looking like it's not too far away. We're now just awaiting on the official announcement. Now, it's not all good news about incomings. Well, I say good news. That obviously depends how you feel about the Scott Parker news, but it's not all news about incomings. Obviously, we reported yesterday that Arianette Murich, Burnley goalkeeper, was being monitored by several Premier League clubs and the words that they used in the reports yesterday is that it was expected he would leave. To, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but it was expected that he would leave Turf Moor. Well, the report came out today that he has apparently actually now asked to leave Turf Moor. Um, the report, again, was from the Daily Mail. So feel free to take this information with a pinch of salt obviously i always say that but this came from jack goen who is at the northern football reporter for the daily mail and i do tend to find that jack tends to be okay the daily mail can sometimes be hit and miss uh, but jack does tend to be okay um, but according to him he has actually asked to leave burnley now there's not much really more i can add uh, from what I said yesterday, obviously, I, yesterday when I found out about the report about Premier League clubs looking at him, I said afterwards I kind of expected him to want to leave after the season that we had last year and, this, and the way he was treated by the previous management. But the fact that that management had left 
was making me hope that he would want to stay. But if the reports are true, evidently not. Um, and who can blame him, to be fair? Uh, last season, I think any love that he'd have built for the club over the season before in the championship championship winning year was probably drained right out of him. Um, and I've, I've heard certain things that he, he isn't as motivated as other goalkeepers at the club. And speaking of other goalkeepers... I weren't going to do. I weren't really going to mention this, uh, especially not in its own separate thing. But there was another report that um, Vigaru could be going back to Leighton Orient, but that came from this random Twitter account called EFL Hub. Now it has quite a lot of followers, but I don't think its legitimacy is very high. So we'll see. But it's looking like we've just sold one keeper. Uh, Trafford has took digs at Burnley on Twitter after he got. You know, interest from Newcastle. Murich is now asked to leave. And Vigaru, there's reports about him leaving as well. So there's literally just going to be an empty room where the goalkeepers normally uh, train or, or whatever it is they do at the club. So it's going to be interesting to see. A lot of people saying on Twitter they don't think both keepers leave, i.e. Trafford and Murich. I, I, I genuinely believe that both of them will leave. It sounds like they both want out. If the report's true about Murich asking to leave, then he wants out. And I think it's pretty obvious that Trafford wants out after he took a dig at the Burnley fans on Twitter just around two, three weeks ago when the the bid came in from Newcastle. It's looking like he won't be going to Newcastle now, so that will be interesting if he does have to pull the Burnley shirt on again. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with this one. Um, I have no reason to believe uh, that it that it's untrue. Again, like I said, there's, there's stuff that a lot of fans have heard about him wanting away in January as well and not getting the move that he wanted. Um, so we'll see, but it'll be a shame to see Murich leave. As I've said, I would hope that the manager change would change his mind, but it seems not. But yeah, that's it from me again for today's show. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please let me know what you think in the comments below, especially about the Scott Parker managerial news. It's obviously not official yet, but it's looking like Scott Parker is going to be the Burnley manager as he is now the preferred candidate according to several high-profile news sources. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll probably do a, di a different sort of video on Scott Parker as well. So I'll keep doing the news stuff for the next few days like, like, like I always will. But I'll probably do a, a video on on Scott Parker, especially when he's announced. We, we will do live streams and stuff and everything when he's announced. But I'll try and look more into, into Scott Parker as well. But yeah, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe.